Well, praise the Lord, my friends. Let me know how the service is, how the connection is. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm live from Havana, Cuba. God bless you. Bang, bang. Give some hearts and likes. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where you're watching from. I've missed you all. It's been a hot minute. You know, we're always on the move from glory to glory. God is so good. Can I get an amen? I'm broadcasting live here from Havana, Cuba. Obviously, you can see the Malecon, the literally like PCH, the highway one down below. You see the beautiful ocean. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's been a wonderful, awesome here uh, in the glory of God. Somebody say hallelujah. So let me know where you're watching from in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And yes, I'm broadcasting live from Havana, Cuba. Can I get an amen? Where allegedly there is a Russian warship down the street from here. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen anything. Um, but uh, that's what the media, the propaganda, what the news is saying. So who knows what's really true out there. But like I said, I have, I have not seen, we have not seen really of any Russian warships down the street here in Havana and Cuba. Well, bang, bang, let me know where you're watching from so I can give you some shout outs. Today, I want to talk about regional authority because I really believe that God is upgrading our mantles. He's upgrading your stature, your sphere of influence. There's an expansion. There's an increase. There's greater glory, greater growth, a maturity. Can I get an amen? And uh, the Lord is beginning to um, put your name in places, rooms, and spaces that you've never been able to reach, that you've never been able to obtain. So I want to talk to you about greater regional authority. I want to talk to you about this miracle that we experienced yesterday, last night. Wow, last night was the second day of ministry here in Cuba, and bam, bam, there was a, a really incredible miracle that took place. So I'm tying all of this in together from the land of Havana, from the land of Cuba, and I want to declare... Uh, that God is expanding your territory and there's a greater regional authority. Come on, you're about to be more effective in this season than you've ever been. Can I prophesy over you? I'm going to minister right now. You're going to be more effective in this season than you've ever been in all the years combined. Somebody say amen. Now, I remember a few years ago, I met with the man of God, Prophet Jeremy Nelson. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jeremy and Miranda Nelson. They are revivalists. And uh, have an incredible work in San Diego, California. Hallelujah. But a number of years ago, I met this man of God. He laid hands on me and he prophesied over me. And he said, in the next six months, you're going to have greater fruit than you've seen in the last six years. Okay. Not only is that acceleration, but that's called compounded multiplication. There's a compounding effect, a compounded effect of multiplication, exponential increase. Somebody say amen. So I want to declare that in the next six months, you're going to see greater effectiveness, greater fruit, greater growth. Bam, bam. You're going to see more fire, miracles, signs and wonders, favor, open doors, financial miracles. In the next six months, you're going to see greater growth, glory than all of the six years previous combined. If you receive that, somebody say amen. Today, I want to talk about growing in your regional authority. And I'm going to tie it in by sharing a miracle that happened last night here in Havana, Cuba, here in the second night, uh, second day of ministry that we had last night. Hallelujah. And I also want to talk about a few other things. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim live here from Havana, Cuba. I want you to pray over this broadcast. Number one, that we will blood block this broadcast. Somebody say amen. That uh, there will be no monitoring, tailgating, scavenger spirits, eyes that are watching. And also number two, pray, hallelujah, that any, uh, you know, demonic influence warfare will be broken so I could fully finish this broadcast in the name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Let me know what you're watching from. Let me know. Comment below where you are watching from so I could give you a shout out. Thanks for the love, the hearts and likes. I'm feeling the glory, feeling your love and your support. Like I said, I'm live here in Havana, Cuba. Amen. And uh, tonight is going to be our third day of ministry. And uh, we have six days straight on, fully through of ministry here in Cuba. And God is doing a great thing. Amen. I want to talk to you about greater regional authority. So let me know where you're watching from. Praise God. Yes, hello, Karen Tom. Thanks for being a subscriber. Chantel Henry, God bless. Dina Dina, bang, bang, amen. South Africa, Emerald Coast. All right. Pastor Teofilo Ochoa in McAllen, Texas. God bless you. 
I will be in Dallas, Texas. I don't know how far McAllen is, but I'll be in Dallas, Texas, 4th of July weekend. Hello, Kruger's Door, but I miss my South African family. Oh, hello, Amy Patterson. Nikita Rai, Shalom, the Netherlands, God bless. What's up, Keith Walker? H-Town, Houston, Texas, glory be to God. Massachusetts, wonderful, wonderful. Raman de Seteraba, Florida, amen. Lindebe, good to see you. Susan, I've been thinking about you and praying for you, my friend. God bless. Rebe Shete, Edna, good to see you. Nikita Rai, six months, amen and amen. Come on, somebody. I feel the Holy Ghost. Dina, Dina, bang, bang. Dina, Dina, bang, bang. Pastor Carlos, are you still here, my friend? We got to catch up soon. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. I will be in Kenya in the month of October. In fact, I just got off of a phone call with my spiritual son in Uganda, and we're preparing for Uganda and Kenya in the month of October. So glory be to God. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Magnolia, Texas. Wow, we got Texas strong today. I love that. Cuba, we be Goshen one day. Absolutely. Of course, if you know the history of Cuba, Cuba used to be uh, the Europe of North America. Cuba was actually, had more GDP uh, economic growth than even the United States did at one time. And so Cuba was actually one of the most richest countries in the world for a number of years uh, until, of course, communism, the big C, came in. All right, glory to God. Krugersdorp, God bless. Cindy Eden, God bless. Baby, Yahweh, Maggie K, been thinking about you as well. Hey, Pastor Carlos, God bless. We're going to have to talk soon, my friend. Well, glory be to God. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you for uncommon, unmerited favor, for the glory of God. Breakthrough, bang, bang. In the name of Jesus, all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Hello there, Mary. Good to see you. Alvaro, good to see you. Kashika, shalom, shalom. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Let's build up the room and the broadcast. Amen. It's been a while since I've ministered here, since I've seen you. But all is well, we're, we're alive and well here in Havana, Cuba. Now, there's a number of things I want to say. First and foremost, guys, listen. Um, thank God for safe passageways in and out of Cuba. I mean, this is a communist country. This is a communist land. There's a lot of restrictions, a lot of monitoring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know what? My website is banned here in Cuba. You can only open up, find my website by VPN. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? So, uh, you know, praise God. Shoot, we were able to come through in and out and we're doing what we do in Jesus' name, under the radar, blood block covered by the Holy Ghost, by Psalm 91 angels. But my website is banned. You can't find it. You can't open it. It's not a Wi-Fi issue, even though Wi-Fi is pretty bad over here, okay? Uh, but it is what it is. So I, I feel that that is a great promotion and I rejoice in the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Well, today I want to talk about greater regional authority. Greater regional authority, amen. Last night, there was a miracle that happened. A great miracle. Glory be to God. Last night, there was a great miracle that happened. And uh, last night was day two of ministry here in Cuba. And we still got five more days uh, tonight. So six days straight total of miracle uh, ministry revival fire, amen. So keep us in your prayers, hallelujah. But last night, there was a great miracle that happened. At the end of the service, while people were coming up to receive prayer ministry, bam, there was a very big deliverance that took place. And I need you to hear this. Very big deliverance. In fact, it was probably the strongest, heaviest manifestation of demons, plural, that I've seen in a long time, in a long time. Strongest, heaviest manifestation of demons that I have seen in a long time. And of course, even in LA, in the United States, we're seeing people get set free, devils being cast out, absolutely, in America and Western countries. You go to somewhere like Canada, my gosh, I mean, these Canadians, you know, they get set free and delivered from demons like real, real strong, okay, because of the liberal spirits up there and all of the native witchcraft that's mixed and infused there. But um, yesterday, last night, there was such a strong man, okay? It was a strong man that was delivered. And, and you know, we left when this lady was halfway delivered so that the team could continue to minister. And so, because we just ministered for two and a half hours, so boom, right? So we pass on the baton to the team, to the next team. But I discerned that this was a strong man, okay? This was a strong man. 
And uh, honestly, I didn't minister or pray over the lady. Uh, it was, it was uh, another from our team, right? It wasn't me, it was another from our team. And eventually I stepped in at the last minute. But this was a strong man. And afterwards, as I was talking with our team and as I was talking with one of the pastors there, I discerned that, again, it was a strong man. And you have to realize this. Whenever a strong man, all right, which, which is a spiritual principality of a region, whenever a strong man uh, comes into a meeting or gets set free, it represents regional revival. It represents the region it's attached to. It's a, it is a representation of the stronghold, strong man, of the principality that is holding the region, the neighborhood, under that same spiritual guise, okay? So last night, there was a strong man, a woman who was bound to a strong man that came, and there was very strong uh, manifestation, the strongest I've ever seen. And I know there are multiple demons. In fact, it, it may have been a legion of demons, okay? And you know by the spirit that there are layers and there are layers and, you know, and so in these layers, these demons can have strongholds and hide in them and, and be within them. And so this was a stronghold. And I began to share with the team that whenever a strong man comes, it means that there's going to be regional revival. It means that in that region, there's going to be a move of God, okay? Now, some of you, you may be dealing with confronting, being face-to-face -face with these regional strongholds, these regional demons, these principalities. Hallelujah. It means that you're about to go to the next level, okay? Now, let me give you uh, another example. Even yesterday, uh, there was a, a wild manifestation right outside of our hotel, Okay, this, uh, I don't think it was a homeless man, but this man was asking all the tourists for money and he just began to manifest. And you can understand that this is a strong man's spirit. Okay, it is a strong man's spirit. God's about to increase your regional authority. There's a number of things that I want to say, but first, let's go to our main verse here, Matthew 12, 29. All of God's people say amen. Matthew 12, 29. How can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his house. And so these spirits, all right, they know we're here. Bam, this is happening. All right, confrontation. There's a conflict in the spirit. But how can you plunder the goods? And what are the goods? Souls being saved. Miracle signs and wonders. Or how can you plunder the goods in the local region, in the local area, without first binding the strong man? You see, rekata, the, the, the greater the effect of our ministry means that there is a strong man that's been bound. And that's why many of us, we're not progressing or we're not increasing in our realms, in our spheres of influence because of a strong man's spirit. Okay, if you're following me so far, nod your head, yes. Now, today I want to talk about growing in your regional authority because every single one of us, we have a metron of grace. We have a sphere of grace, a sphere of influence that God has given us. God has entrusted us. Amen. He has given us a realm of influence, a sphere of influence over every region, which means that you have ascended that hill, that mountain you have paid the price, you've paid the cost, you've sacrificed, bam, bam, you've broken through things so that you can be like an authority figure over that region, over that land, amen. Now, everybody has a sphere of influence. Everybody has a realm of influence, all right, which means that apostolically or prophetically, um, apostolically, prophetically, there are certain regions where your mantle may not be as effective, okay? There are certain places, regions, spheres, metros, where your mantle may not be as effective, as effective. It still is effective, but you have to bind the strong man. You have to understand the spiritual dynamics of that region, okay? Now, let me give you this example. Okay, I cannot just go to your home, your home, think about it. I can't just come to your home, even though you recognize me as a man of God. You cannot 
and you invite me, I'm, I visit your home as a guest, even though I'm a pastor, a man of God. But I come to your home and I can't just do whatever the heck I want because it's not my home. It's not my authority. Does that make sense, right? I may be given a level uh, availability space, some room to have some freedom, but it's not my home. It's not my metron of authority. It's not my business, okay? So somebody just say, I'm minding my own business. You, you gotta learn to mind your own business sometimes. Can I get an amen? So I'm not just gonna bombard it to somebody's home and just act like I can do whatever I want. No, that's disrespectful. That's out of order. That's breaking protocol. So in that same concept, every single one of us, we've been given a metron sphere of influence. Hallelujah. But God wants to grow your regional authority everywhere. Everywhere. Just because you're not as effective, you're not as known, you don't have as much influence, just because you don't, you know, the mantle isn't as strong here, ba 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 ba. It doesn't mean that that is not for you. It means that God wants you to Grow your regional authority, amen, by number one, binding the strong man, understanding the spiritual hierarchies and atmospheres, binding the strong man, number two, coming into humility and honor, and number three, by obeying the Holy Spirit. So everyone has regional favor, regional breakthroughs, and and of course, for me, when I go to the nations, bam, bam, things begin to happen, especially in Asia. Our God has given me a metron of grace, of favor in Hawaii, in the islands, in the Caribbeans, in Asia. Somebody say amen. So you have to discern your metron of influence, your sphere of influence. All right, praise God. Um, let's go to another verse, and then I want to keep talking to you. Romans eleven thirteen. If you're with me today, say amen. Romans eleven thirteen. 13, Apostle Paul. Now I'm speaking to you, Gentiles, specific group of people, Gentiles, in as much as I am an apostle to the Gentiles. So Paul understood his metron. Paul understood his assignment. I am assigned to the Gentiles. Okay. So Paul did not want to overstep. He did not want to overdo. And that's the problem with all of us. All right, we want to do all things. Uh, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Listen, if you think you could do everything at once, you might burn yourself out. You might kill yourself, all right? And you're just being wasteful. You're not being wise. You need to understand the assignment of what God has called you to. And sometimes that's a difficulty of prophetic visionaries, all right? We think every nation is our nation, or we think, you know, we want to go everywhere. We want to do everything, okay? You need to understand your assignment, the metron, which means your sphere, your realm, your area is connected to your mantle. Apostle Paul understood that his metron was to the Gentiles. Amen. Here we see Acts 9, 15. Go, said the Lord. This man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. Amen. Now, very interesting thing. Yesterday, Pastor John Bayer, my spiritual son, who is Mongolian, uh, yesterday morning he went to uh, the Mongolian embassy here in Havana. So here, Prophet Adrian, our host, Prophet Mike Zimmerman, and pa Pastor John, they go to the Mongolian embassy yesterday to meet with the Mongolian ambassador here in, Mongo uh, here in Havana in Cuba. And Pastor John in the Mongolian diaspora community, he has a great metron of favor, grace, for Mongolian celebrities. Mongolian celebrities, Mongolian uh, uh, nobles, people of, of nobility in the Mongolian community. I mean, you know, pop, pop stars in the Mongolian community, politicians, and of course, Pastor John lives in DC area, so he meets with a lot of Mongolian delegates, politicians, right? So yesterday they went to the embassy of, oh, I feel the Lord, of Mongolia here in Havana, and he met with the ambassador and he preached the gospel to the ambassador. Somebody said amen, and guess what? Now there is a possible open door, number one, to meet with the president of Mongolia, 
And number two, to possibly meet with the leader of here, Cuba. You know what I'm saying? You catch my drift. Somebody say amen. So you need to understand your metron, your sphere of influence. Pastor John understood his assignment with the Mongolian people, the Mongolian, and boom, look what happened. Somebody say amen. Apostle Paul knew that God called him to the Gentiles and their kings. And then number three, be before the people of Israel, all right? Now, last verse I want to talk to you about, then I want to continue to talk with you. Somebody say amen. Galatians 2.8. Galatians 2.8. For he, he who worked through Peter for his apostolic ministry to the circumcised worked also through me for mine to the Gentiles. So here, Apostle Paul is saying, Peter was assigned to the Jewish people. You go to the Jews, I'm going to go to the Gentiles. It's all good. There's, there's a lot of work to do for everybody. We've got a lot of souls to save. There's a lot of people that we got to reach for the gospel, for the glory of God. Somebody say amen. Let's stop being competitive. All right, let's stop this. Who's greater than this? Like this, this, this little high school girl stuff. Let's stop it. Put it to the side. You go there and I'm going to go here. Okay. Let's understand that you have a sphere metron responsibility of influence over this type of people, this group of people. And I'm going here. Somebody say amen. So apostle Peter was assigned to the Jews. Apostle Paul was assigned to the Gentiles. They understood their lane. Let me ask you, do you know your lane? Come on, somebody. Do you know your lane? And, and you know, if you follow me, if you, if you know me, you know, hallelujah, that I've been a senior pastor for 14 years. And I felt the grace lift and I felt a, a tide turning. I felt a... a, a shifting of the season and I knew that my lane my my place in that lane had lifted so I had to shift and I transitioned out are you hearing me today every single person we have a lane and God wants you to increase in that lane but I'm talking about greater regional authority amen greater regional authority now if you follow me in my ministry you know I had the great honor a meeting with Apostle Maldonado this Sunday on Father's Day. Somebody say amen. On Father's Day, I was able to meet with the great general apostle, man of God, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. And it was on Father's Day, okay? Go figure. Not a coincidence. Now, just a little backdrop, a little backstory. Um, we have many mutual friends, okay? Apostle Maldonado uh, knows many of my friends that are ministers, generals of the Lord, of course. And as well, um, many of my friends have gone to his church, et cetera, et cetera. So for many years, people have tried to connect me with Apostle Maldonado, tried to connect me. But there's always been like a warfare. There's always been a blockage. It's been an unusual warfare blockage. So I just discern, you know, it's not my time. Either God is protecting me from something or it's just not my time. Do you catch my drift? You know what I'm saying? But there's always the right time. Because you must, all right, doesn't mean you have to be in fellowship, but you must be able to know who is in their field. The Bible says, know those who labor amongst you, right? So you must be able to acknowledge, know, understand who is moving and what, who is doing what, so that we don't, you know, we don't repeat the cycle, all right? We don't repeat, hallelujah, uh, the wheel, as I say. So I've known for a long time that there was a connection in the spirit with myself and Apostle Maldonado. Blocks, not happening, possible warfare, what's going on, Lord? All right, I was about to meet and a boom, thoughts of boom, and then a boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden, bam, God opened up a door this Sunday. Now I need you to hear this, Jesus. God opened up a door on Sunday. Now, we met with the man of God, by the grace of God. We met with the man of God. And you could tell that there was a connection, okay? There's so much I want to say, but I won't. And I can't right now. But the Lord began to speak through me. The spirit of wisdom. See, this is why it's so important. The spirit of wisdom. In that moment in the green room, all right? Just 10 short minutes that we had. Such a busy day. It's a Sunday, 
right? Many people are, thousands of people are coming in and out. But we had, I don't know, 15 minutes maximum. And in that moment, as we're talking and connecting, the Lord spoke through me. He said, Apostle Maldonado, we want to help be an open door for you in Asia. We want to help be an open door for you in Asia. All of a sudden, even more so, his eyes opened up and he said, you know, we have great reach in South America and in Africa, but still Asia, not so much. You need to hear me. Still Asia, not so much. And he said, next year we're planning to go, you know, and he begins to list things. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he said something where he says publicly, and I'm not going to say word for word verbatim, but all of a sudden he says, today, these Asians have come. Okay, these Asians have come. <laughs> Amen. Well, I'm sharing all of this because I carry a metron of favor influence in Asia by the grace of God. All right. And Apostle Maldonado has been praying, believing for greater influence, greater open doors in Asia. Boom. We meet by the spirit of God. The Lord speaks and says, I want to be an open door for you in Asia. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap. All right, give us some hearts and likes. I'm sharing this because you need to understand your lane. And God is growing your regional authority. God is growing your name, the fame of your name, the influence, the authority of your name. Did you know that God spoke to David? I will make your name great. All right. When you try to become great in your own eyes, and your own strength, then you will fall and become nothing. But when you lift up the name of God, God will lift you up. And God will make your name great, like he did with David. Somebody say amen. In fact, when you serve the man of God like David's a mighty man, then even the mighty men will become great. Even those who serve the man and woman of God will become great. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? Because it's about alignment. It's about association. All right? It's about being acquainted with the anointing. Somebody say hallelujah. God has given you new metrons, spheres of influence, grace, favor. Amen. And last night, a strong man came into the room. And a strong man was bound. And I knew my spirit. A great revival is about to take place this whole week. Once you encounter, bam, a strong man, strong old principality spirit like that that represents the strong man of a region, then bam, you know a great revival is going to take place. Look at the story of the man with the legion of demons. The man with the legion of demons, the legion means a thousand in the Greek, but a man with the legion of demons was set free and then revival broke out in the whole region. Somebody say amen. Well, of course, the people were afraid of Jesus and they shooed him away. But to me, that was a realm of repentance, revival, awakening in their hearts, in their minds, in their eyes. This glorious gospel is being preached, is being pushed, is being declared. And miracle signs and wonders will follow, will take place in Jesus' name. So let me ask you this question. Do you know your lane? Do you know, discern your metron, your sphere of influence? Let me tell you, God's about to open up more doors for you. God's about to release an ease and a grace over your life. Things are going to happen quickly. Things are going to start taking place in your life. Eat about in the name of Jesus. God is growing your regional authority. Number one, there's regional favor. Somebody say regional favor. You know that you have a metron of grace, a sphere of influence, authority in a realm, in a region, in a place. Number one, by there being regional favor. Let me give an example. Regional favor, oh man, this place is so difficult, but when you come, it, it lights up, it shines bright. This place is so difficult. This place is so difficult. I'm having such difficulty with ministry. You know, we're slaving away. We're slugging away. There's so much warfare and battle, blah, blah, blah. But when you come, it's like open heavens. That's called regional favor. That means that God's giving you favor in the land 
where others have failed. I want to declare over your failures are turning into favors. Somebody say amen. Number two, there's a regional breakthrough, which means that you're able to do things in that region that other people could not be able to do. All right. Yesterday, Pastor John met with the ambassador of Mongolia here in Havana. Amen. And something's taking place. Something's happening. I'm telling you. Something's happening governmentally, politically in Jesus' name. Yesterday, we see on the news that Vladimir Putin uh, of Russia stepped into North Korea and met with Kim Jong-un yesterday. It's unusual, friends. I'm telling you. As I'm here in Cuba, a, a red nation, and I don't mean red for Republican, the red dragon, really, the red, uh, the red hammer spirits, right? And as I'm here in Cuba, there's allegedly a Russian warship down the street here. And now Vladimir Putin. These are all alignments in the spirit. Somebody said regional breakthrough. I believe God wants to give you a regional breakthrough. My gosh. You could see when the grace lifts in a region. And you can see when there's breakthrough for you, with you, in a certain region. Somebody say amen. God's giving you a region. Number three. Open doors. When you grow in regional authority, there are open doors, okay? There are endless opportunities. Open doors, opportunities, connections, divine appointments. Hallelujah. All it takes is one. All it takes is one. And when God grows your regional authority, it means that there are open doors. And it means that you are able to, to open doors for others. Somebody say hallelujah. Let me give you this example. Uh, this Sunday, we met with Apostle Daniel. Uh, no, Apostle Maldonado, King Jesus Ministry. This Sunday, what a great honor. But that connection took place because of my friend, Apostle Daniel, okay? Apostle Daniel is a host church that hosted me, had me Friday, Sunday here in Miami, Florida. But Apostle Daniel has a connection with Apostle Maldonado's church. Boom, God is connected. And by that connection, hear me, by that connection, there was an open door for me to meet with the man of God, Apostle Maldonado. But hear me now. That was the first time my friend who connected me with Apostle Maldonado actually met Apostle Maldonado. That was the first time Apostle Daniel actually went into the green room with us and it was the first time he met with the man of God, Apostle Maldonado. When you open doors for others, then doors begin to open for you. God is going to open doors for you. I believe the Lord is about to open significant doors, prosperity doors, abundant doors, prophetic doors. God's about to open doors for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number four, number four. When your regional authority grows in a space, in a place, it means that you have a grace and an ease for multiplication. A grace and an ease for multiplication. Things catch on like wildfire. Things begin to happen quickly. There's an acceleration, a grace, and an ease in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Things are happening. Things are taking place. In one place, you're just a commodity. But in another place, you're an asset. In one place, you're trash. In another place, you're treasure. In one place, you're a nobody. But in another place, you become like a god. You're honored, you're loved, you're praised, you're received, you're celebrated. I said, like a God, not a God, amen. Even though I am a, anyways. So, you need to understand where the grace, the ease of multiplication is. God's gonna do that in your region. The Bible says a prophet is without honor in his own hometown. But let me tell you, friends, God's about to turn that thing around and he's going to give you great favor, grace, and breakthrough in the place you were raised where you're from. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Get ready for God to do it. Number five, 
When God grows your regional authority, it means you have bound the strong man and now you're able to plunder. You have bound the strong man and you are able to plunder. Somebody say amen. Higher levels, there are higher devils. All right, higher levels, there are higher devils. Amen. But it's also higher dimensions of victory and dominion in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. I believe God's taking you higher. He's growing you. He's expanding you. Amen. And that's why some of you, you are experiencing the warfare, the backlash, the hindrance relationally, spiritually, financially, regionally. But God is growing your regional authority. And we must bind the strong man, take authority, must plunder the enemy. Somebody say amen. I feel regional angels being released. Regional keys are being released. God's about to give you regional favor. What others cannot do, you will do. Where others have failed and fallen and have struggled, you will increase, expand, and have victory. There will be uncommon favor, unusual favor on your life. Doors will fling wide open for you. In Jesus' name, you will not tarry. You will not delay. You will not struggle. No longer, hallelujah, will you drag your feet through the mud. No longer will your name be drug, drug and dragged through the mud. But you will walk out, walk through in victory, in grace. Come on, you're going to plunder the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Rebesete. God is opening doors of favor. Your metron is increasing. God is doing a new thing in your life. Somebody say amen. And I declare and I decree in Jesus' name that you are an answer to somebody's prayer and you are a solution to somebody's problem and you are an asset to someone's need. There is a greater glory that's coming, a greater glory that's invading the earth in Jesus' mighty name. Apostle Paul knew his lane. He knew his metron of influence of authority. And the Lord continued to expand them in that place. Do not overstep. Do not over. Do not go over bounds out of bounds. But know where God has called and assigned you to. And watch what the Lord does. Somebody say amen. I believe God's going to do a new thing with you, my friends. Hallelujah. He's doing a new thing with you, for you, and through you. Can I get an amen? And I want to declare and decree today. On this day, June 20th. That God's about to move in miracles, signs, and wonders like never before. Come on, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want you to say, God is expanding my regional authority. I would say, God is increasing my regional influence. He's doing it over your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. I knew yesterday the strong man being bound. Hallelujah. I knew yesterday the strong man being bound. My gosh, thank you, Lord. That strong man being bound here in Cuba, I knew that that was a sign of revival taking place in Cuba. God is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. He's doing a new thing. Somebody say amen. Glory be to God. Rebesete. We do have a number of more days of ministry here. So thank you for your love and your prayers. I appreciate you all. And listen, friends, next time, if you want to come to Cuba with me, let us know. All right. We're planning a lot of great things for the glory of God. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The time is now. Now is the time. Now is the time. Listen, friends, I want to invite you to bless the Lord and to sow a seed. Obviously, we're here in Cuba, a beautiful nation, a communist nation. There's a lot of need here. But if you believe in this word that God has increased and expanded, listen, there's been so much favor, so much uh, glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God's been doing so much. And uh, I'm telling you, the next six months, God's going to do more in your life in the next six months than he did in the last six years. If you believe that, say amen. I want to invite you to sow a seed because we're here in Cuba and uh, this is a mission trip for us, for Benlam Ministries. And really, it's a summer revival. Next month, July, I'm going to be in India for two weeks, 
From India, we go over to Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Fiji, Samoa, New Zealand now, amen. So there's a huge summer of revival. And then in the month of September, we have a crusade in Tijuana, Mexico. Then October, we got Africa. So we got a lot we're doing. So I want to invite you to bless the Lord to sow a seed. Amen. We have pinned the ways to give to this ministry, to partner with God and his word. Amen. All right. We are not in need of finances. You need to obey. That's it. So I want to give you an opportunity to bless the Lord. As you sow, I want you to comment breakthrough. Amen. Comment breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, partner with souls, soul winning, partner with the gospel, so into this prophetic word. God is expanding your spiritual and regional territory. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So many great things. I give God all glory. Mm. Continue to pray with me and pray for us. Amen. Glory to God. Souls in Cuba. Souls in the Caribbean. Souls everywhere and wherever we go. In Jesus' mighty name. Come and break through as you sow. Praise God. Sow into this word, into the man of God, into this ministry. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you're doing. For the miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Thank you, Cindy. Bless you. Tia, bless you. Amen. Ramasikarabasoto. Come on, I want you to comment. He's expanding my territory. He's expanding my metron of grace and favor. Juan, bless you. Pastor Sharon, bless you. I'm telling you, it's always the same people. You faithful ones, I love you. God bless you. Bless the Lord, my friends. So into the gospel. So into the Lord. Amen. Shamanabandia. Look at that beautiful view. You can't beat that. That beautiful ocean. God is good. Sharamandia Soto. That's right, Pastor Carlos. Tabitha, Shalom. Glory to God. Jania, thank you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rebe Soto Randa. Glory to God. Jamandia. God is good. God is moving. His angels are moving. He's doing a new thing. Lord, and you know what? Why don't you pray with me? Pray with me right now for the fire of God, for protection, for an increase of miracles. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Shoo. Thank you, Terry Ann. Bless you. Will you continue to pray with me and this ministry? Amen. For us to continue and finish well, finish strong, and have great success this week in Cuba. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, friends, I love you. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and share. If you received and if you enjoyed this broadcast, then make sure you share it, like, follow. Thanks for everything. Love you. God bless from Havana, Cuba. I'll see you soon.